Yep, definitely expensive looking. Yo, Libby, have a look at this. Hmm. I have it on good authority that it is expensive looking. Well, it may be expensive looking. To a layman. To me, however, I've got to say, it's not all that impressive. Well, I kinda had my heart set on a big bunch of monies. Oh, I bet you did. Tell you what, though. I'll trade your somewhat expensive-looking guitar for... Yes? One of those rusty shovels over there. That's a genuine Jacobi's, a real high-quality shovel. I don't think so. Playing hardball, huh? Okay, how about I give you one of the less rusty ones? I don't know, Libby. That guitar is kind of expensive looking. Fine, you keep it then. But if you ever need to get some digging done, you're gonna wish you had a genuine Jacobi's by your side. Yo, Libby. Hmm. Well, my that's the genuine article right there. Interested? Okay, I guess. Deal. Okay, nice doing business with you. Oh, by the way, we have a strict no returns policy here in the shop. I sure hope this was a good trade. I think Levy might have talked this thing up a bit. Looks just like any old shovel to me. In fact, it's really rusty. Okay, let's find out what's down there. No returns, huh? Not fair, after all I went through to get here. First, I learned all those guitar styles. only to have the shovel fall apart in my hands. Great, another tiny dino, probably here to gloat over my setback. Yeah, what? Dinos. This thing had better Hey, Dino, you like bones, huh? The dinos of this era, such strange creatures. Whoa! I bet some coal was buried there like half an eternity ago. Someone must have squashed a whole lot of coal down there a huge while ago. Sorry, dude, no returns. 
big, bright, and shiny. This thing must be worth a fortune. So how do you like my diamond? Wow! Expensive looking enough for you? Yeah, okay. That's a massively expensive looking diamond right there. I suppose you want a big bunch of monies for such an item, huh? That sounds about right. Oh, sorry, got a bit carried away again. Hmm. Deal! Hey, I'm loaded. Yeah, but how many diamonds have you got, though? I've got one, and it's a big one. I bet this thing is worth ten big bunches of monies. At least. Sharp and... Okay, let's see if I can make this thing a little more interesting. Red checkered shirt. Check. Ah, the douchebag in waiting. Got the stuff? Sure do. Oh, I love the shirt. Excellent cut. The glasses are fine too, if a bit sticky. Now let me just count the money. Okay, one big bunch of monies. Done. Now, are you ready to unleash that inner douchebag? Well, I suppose I am. Well then, let's get to work. Okay, whenever you're ready, Clue. Impeccable. Remarkable. Damn right, unfathomable. Hmm. I don't look stupid or anything, right? I shall pretend I didn't hear that. The profile still needs a profile photo. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so I'm not sure about this new douchebag look, but the photo is now taken care of. I'd say the profile is done now. Hmm, what was that? Whoa, the dating site is going nuts. People seem to be going bonkers over that profile picture. I caramba! Mr. G. Threetwood, I say. Okay, I'm gonna back this guy before anyone else beats me to it. What's this? A lady with blue hair? Ding dong. Meet up for a drink at Squid's. Crikey.
good news, Larry. My steadfast surveillance has paid off. I just got a hot lead on my target. I will have to find a new spot to act as surveillance headquarters, though. This is Lenny speaking. Again, could someone please tell the robotic-looking dude in Isle 1 to vacate the premises? On account of freaking everybody out. Thank you. You drive a hard bargain, Lenny. But that's where there's mutual respect between us. And also, welcome to the year 8021. No way! The rabbit took me too far into the future? Hmm. If a rabbit got me too far into the future, I bet a smaller rodent would get me back to my own time. Silence, maggot. I am Special Agent QP43, brother of QP42, if the name rings a bell. Oh. I see. Sorry about that. I, I mean, m my condolences and all that. Silence, maggot. Prepare yourself for Ruthless Unbound. Ruthless what? It's the name of my revenge. Yes, I gave my revenge a name. What about it? Hey, whatever works for you, QP43. Since you're something of a slippery customer, I will personally keep my eyes on you while my colleague powers up the Chrono Wiper. The Chrono what? You heard me. The most ruthless device in the whole Pythonic Empire. Capable of wiping out any trace of a person's existence. From any timeline. In any parallel universe. For all eternity. Sounds handy. Silence, maggot. Hmm. They got reefs? I guess he finally stopped stirring that coffee cup for a while. And I gotta admit, part of me feels a bit safer knowing he can't stir up any trouble back home. Is that... Pup Man? Wow, I could have sworn he was just a fictional comic book character. That is fascinating. Hmm. Is that you, Andre? I guess you have all the time in the world to ponder the grand scheme of things now. Hang in there, buddy. I'll find a way to sort it all out. Somehow. Probably better not to look too closely at that thing, copyright-wise. I don't know. I feel it might slow me down. Hold right there, maggot. We suspected this curious kitchen appliance was somehow involved in your time-traveling hack. Tell me how it works, or I'll wipe you out right here and now. Well, you start by sticking your head in it. Hmm. Krapotulus! I'm looking through some sort of miniature portal. There's an office kitchen on the other side. How does it work? What do I do next? The next step involves dropping some Agent Ruthless one-liners. Oh, really? I'm good at those. 
Meet my friend Roy. First name, Dasht. Ouch. Not super witty, that one. I'll have you know it's a contextual thing, human. Dasht happens to be a very common nickname for the first generation of Pythonic Destruction Unit. Ah, noted. Good start. Keep it going. Meet my friend, Ruth. Oh yeah, I'm so ruthless I don't have any friends. Named Ruth. Okay, I might have bungled that one up a bit. What's all the racket about? <gasps> oh, not another one. Go away! Phew, the bad man went away. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Hipster Guy? Hi, friend. I'm Clute. Hold on. You're the guy who stepped out of the portal back in my time. Wait. You're the caveman who got me stranded in the past. Sorry about that. But when I saw that portal, I figured it was my one chance to escape the tyranny of the dinosaurs. Yeah. Well, I have noticed that the dino cave folk dynamic back in your time does seem rather odd. Anyway, I need to get back to my own time so I can patch things up with Julia. I've been through a lot since I last saw her, and I can't wait to talk to her again. If only this mini portal were big enough for me to step through. Julia? Oh. What? Julia's hair wouldn't happen to be blue by any chance? Oh, you saw the photo on my desk. Yep, it's blue all right. Well, cyan really. Why do you ask? No reason. So, listen, since I left you stranded and everything, is there anything I can do to help out? Hmm. Thanks for asking, Clute. Maybe, if we work together, we can solve this thing. I guess you're trying to get home too. Oh, I actually prefer it here, where the dinos are so tiny they can't boss me around. Oh? Well, maybe I can find a way to get rid of the dinos back in your time. I don't think they were ever supposed to live alongside cave folk in the first place, to be honest. Hmm. Imagine that. My own time without the dinosaurs. We cave folk would be free to do whatever we wanted. And I wouldn't mind getting out of these silly clothes. Hey, Justin, if you could get rid of them dinos, I would love to go back to my own time. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Woohoo! It's co op time! Yay! Oh, and by the way, this micro-portal seems kind of stable. If I throw you this pack of gum, does it show up on your side? Yep, I've got it. Great! This means we can use the micro-portal to swap items. Roger that, co-op buddy. Hey, I feel good about this, Clute. I feel things might actually work out. Clute knocked him out good. I sure hope no QP44 will come along looking for revenge. Hey, a name tag. I'm going to put this on. I think I saw the doors automatically opening when they detected it. Probably better not to look too closely at that thing. Copyright-wise. Hmm. 
No surprise there. There's no way I could climb that thing. These cylindrical tubes served as reverberation resonators for this musical instrument known as Galaxy Organ. This cylindrical area, known as a silo booth, served as the ship's main communication center. Deceased Extraterrestrial 1. Designation Space Captain. Origin Unknown. Red Button. Presumably used for the placing of intergalactic pizza-related, possibly also kebab-related, orders. Horizontal floor, presumably used for standing and or walking. <laughs> 